five game losing streak. Dick LeBeau and the Bengals looking uh, perhaps to go five or three if they can win it. John Kitten had a 300 yard day. Here's the world famous Kitten to TJ Hosh Manzada connection. Hosh Manzada. <laughs> Hosh Manzada. Peter Warwick here, and both of those tricky Bengals. Well, watch the young receiver. He's going to push T.J. Slaughter inside, then go outside, block Fernando Bryant. That's a great job by a wide receiver helping Corey Dillon to get into the end zone. Bengals lead 13-7 at the half, and the third mark for another Jimmy Smith. They're just so good at this. They're just so good at it. 14-13 Jaguars. Next drive, Brunel looking for Smith again. Who wouldn't? Artrell Hawkins called for pass interference, and then to add to it, Keo spikes on sportsmanlike conduct. So yet up the penalties. It's 52 yards on one play of penalty. So then it's Stacy Mack touchdown 21-13 Jaggy Wires. Brunel later third rolling. That's just a pretty pass to a wide open Keenan McCardell who fires it in the wall. And the Jags lead 28-13. John can get out of there. Get out of there. Not out of there. Go forward. It doesn't matter. It's just at this point, the game is over. Safety. Jacksonville. Well, that, that feeling hasn't been around since almost summer, right? Since the two weeks in uh, in September. But they look good there. 30 to 13 for the Jags, holding Dylan to 58 yards. That's the key. You come out, you hold Dylan to 58. You put the onus on John Kittner to have to win the football game. This team has a problem throwing the ball.